Hi, right, Dan Clark in beautiful Bay Indies. Today we're at 924 Zacapa. Standing in front of the home, beautiful landscaping, got some rocks out front. Gene can show you the lawn. They've got a beautiful lawn here, great shape, got irrigation built in, got some palm trees, the ball of bus tree over there. Just beautifully landscaped with the bow windows here as well. Got a long carport here, plenty of parking. We'll make our way down this way into the carport. They got set up for outdoor living, outdoor seating here. Put some privacy fence up there as well. Got good neighbors here as well uh, on both sides and behind you. I want to show you too a few huge shed. Carport's brand new too, by the way. The carport did have some damage in the hurricane, but that's been all put back together. It's a brand new, and it's one of the carports that doesn't attach to the house anymore. They, they separate them off the side of the house. So, but look at this huge shed. If you like woodworking or you're an artist, you want something, look at this, look at this shed. Got a workbench in here, um, huge, huge shed area. And then in the back area, we've got washer and dryer back here. We've got a double sink. Got double sink area there, some extra cabinetry in here, so lots and lots of storage, huge shed. Again, if you like woodworking, you like to do something, hey, this is a great shed area to do something like that in as well. So let's, I want to show you one area out back here too. We're going to go down the breezeway. Again, you can see how long this shed is by just when we walk down this breezeway. The back side out here, we've got they've got a little brick, brick paper patio out here with a couple more small palm trees, a place to lay out in the sun, a little bit of a privacy barrier there as well. Um, so just a little extra patio spot out back here for you as well. So a little extra outdoor living there. Home's been painted not that long ago. The roof is not very old. Uh, it's got a good electrical panel. Uh, all nice inside. Let's go show you the inside. Pile on the steps as we enter into. As we step into the home, we've got a new kitchen, a reasonably new kitchen, not brand new, but it's a reasonably new kitchen. Got the updated appliances here as well. We've got a side by side with a lower freezer. Uh, Ceramic cooktop, built-in microwave as well, dishwasher over here, and again, the cabinets are all the wood, they're all newer, it's not the old cabinets from, from the original house. Uh, they got the waterfall drip edge here on the Formica on both sides. Gee, let's get the coffee station back here too, it looks like you got an extra four cabinets there, drawers, big drawers, side cabinets, uh, all that there, a the little coffee station there as you come in. Got a pantry built in here as well, inside of that, so, so nice storage area there. Nice vinyl planking all the way through the house. See the vinyl planking? So again, nice good size V-shaped uh, kitchen here. Window looks out to your side. We step through the kitchen. We come into the dining area. The house is going to come mostly furnished few pieces like this white piece and a couple, one chair and a, a few things, that, but mostly furnished. Uh, and she's in there taking the bed. It's a special bed for them. Get some newer lights. A lot of can lights have been put, reset lighting that's been put in. While you're up there, look, you notice that's all sheetrock ceilings all the way through here too. It's got all solid sheetrock ceilings all the way through. We've got uh, underneath the vinyl plank was all plywood. So you've got solid floors. you got triple ball windows here. With, with the high uh, shelving there, same thing on this side of the living room. Um, living room set stays, the chair over here, the white chair doesn't. Got a little electric fireplace that will be staying as well. The TV does not convey. So again, a nice open dining room, living area area here that you look out through. Looks over there to your dining room. Love the bow windows that look outside to, look, uh, looks out to Zacapa. Got a side lanai over here. Again, we've got good ceilings, sheetrock ceilings here with the texture. Got an, an, another egress door out through here. Blinds, but I want to point out what they've got. They've got side to side sliders on these. These windows will slide. 
The kitty does not come with it, but right, Scarlett, you you to go with mom and dad, right? We got heat and air in here too, so we've got right behind where the cat is. We've got heat and air over there, so you've got heat and air. We've got a tile floor, so probably an additional 150 to 200 square feet of additional living here, off to the side, and then through the sliding glass door, which is not the original one, but it looks like that's been replaced along the way. We come over here, they've got another living room, extra dining room, what would you like it to be? So again, you've got a large living room here, you could have another sitting area, set up an office, lots of options because this is a 52 foot home. This home is 24 by 52, so you, this gives you bigger bedrooms, gives you bigger uh, living rooms, so it gives you some options of how you want to set this up. So we've got another big area here along with that living room over there as well. Yeah, they have it set up as a dining room, but you've got the fun dining room. So you've got options to how you'd like to set the home up. So many people like a home office today, gives you a great option here. Come in here, we've got the guest bathroom. Nice thing about this guest bathroom, we do have a combo tub and shower. We do have tile back there as well. If Jean can get in, show them the tile. Kind of a, Italian tile look with the swirl in it. Sink, got lights, newer, newer fan, newer stuff in here. But the other thing I like, folks, it's an in-suite bathroom. We, you hear me talk about that? We've got an in-suite bathroom. So if you've got company and guests that come to stay, which they will, um, they can shut this door here, shut the bathroom door, and they got their own little privacy suite here. So the other nice thing about this this bedroom set does stay, this wicker set does stay in here. Got a huge step-in closet. We've got a good GE electrical panel that's been updated. Uh, got a little bit of cedar line closet here inside here as well. So lots of more storage there, so a good size closet. Again, you've got your in-suite that goes to your bathroom that way. All painted up in a Lightish, light colored blue. We're going to come through, out, exit the guest, and we're going to enter into the master. As we enter into the master, a couple things I want to point out. They got a king size bed in here, double windows behind. We got double closets here. And then Gene's going to turn around and show you the other angle. We got double closets over there. So you've got four closets in your master bedroom. Got a new fan up there as well. Again, that uh, flooring is, is in here as well. And then you've got your master bath with linoleum flooring here, off to the side. Step-in shower, again, that's a tile back in there as well. So step-in shower stall, sink, toilet area here, window, right off your master bedroom so you got a, your master suite has the bathroom in it as well step in shower four closets again flooring all good throughout so as we exit the master come back into that what they have set up as a dining room looking through long ways to the front side of this house Large home, newer kitchen, newer floors, newer subfloors, nice lanai off the side, new carport, huge shed, um, mostly furnished, great house here on the back of the park on Z Street in Zacapa. Dan Clark, my Florida dreams, this could be your Florida dream home. Give me a call, 207-807-7537. Don't miss out on this beauty.